Good morning, fellow internet patrons, and today you will experience the awe of my straggly voice. Yeah, I got up not long ago, so I decided to make another episode of Jalopy. <clears throat> you know, the game where we have a scrappy little East German car and we go across Eastern Europe in an attempt to reach the West. Yeah, that game. Anyways, I failed to mention a few things um, in the last video. Number one, this game is in early access. Number two, I realized that I was quite awkward in the first video, so honestly, I think that's going to be a rather worrying trend. Okay, this lady's sleeping on the job. Someone should uh, take notice of that. In fact, I am right now. Um, but anyways... Um, dang it, cat, what are you doing? Uh, my cat's over there messing with a, a piece of string that's dangling off of a doorknob. Don't ask why that's there. Um, but yeah, the game's in early access still. It is not finished by any means. Um, and the other thing, I'm, if you couldn't tell, I am new to YouTube. So, I'm going to be learning as I go. Actually, I think that might be a, um, a slogan of mine. I learn as I go. But anyways, um, to give a bit of a review. Uh, in the last episode, I crashed a lot. Mostly into guardrails. Seems to be a really worrying trend with my driving in this game. I picked up a wooden box, but as I said, I still need to get a crowbar in order to open it, and those, I believe, can only be found in stores, and they don't always spawn. So yeah. Also, my carburetor is, uh, seen better days, I guess. But anyways, um, I haven't actually showed off the, um the store aspect of this game yet. Uh, I mean, how things... how you trade, basically. Um, I'm at a loss for words all of a sudden again. The other thing is that I treat the car in this game as I would treat my actual car. You know, close the doors, lock it up, make sure I don't leave without my wallet, that kind of stuff. Being responsible. Alright, so through the magic of computer editing, I have managed to reach the outer shop, which is closed. So yeah, that was a uh, great waste of my time, and your guys' time as well. So, I'm very sorry. I will be back when I am ready to go. And we're back to the humble abode that is the inside of my Leica 601. So, without further ado, let's get to the driving. Once again, listening to that two-stroke purr. Also, I, um, I'm willing to bet that the car will break down sometime pretty soon, because, th like, midway through the other trip, I had to fit... We're going to forget that that even happened. Um, halfway through the other trip, I had to repair it because the air filter went and that wore the engine out and that wore the carburetor out. That's a series of unfortunate events. No, I have not read that series or... Well, I've seen the movie. And, and that's irrelevant, though. But anyways, we are now going to cross the border. Oh, crap. I realized some that okay I gotta get out I forgot to say that um, at these border crossings um, there are some items that are illegal so since I don't have to actually have a crowbar I can't open this and therefore there's some goodies in here that I probably wouldn't be able to sell Therefore, I won't be able to make money. Therefore, I'm probably not going to have a joyous journey. It's just going to be filled with suffering and white smoke from under the hood of the car. So yeah, 
we're going to have to do that, unfortunately. Okay, start the car back up. Yeah, see, there's a... Uh, it says, no sausage. I don't know why sausages are banned in this part of the country, but no oh well. Papers, please. Yeah, here's the border crossing guy. It's another interesting game called Papers, Please. Uh, it's, about, it's about border crossing. Man, I'm just at a loss for words today. Oh, and that's my wallet. Dang it. Voice cracking. Alright, there's my passport. Okay, let's see here. Okay, everything seems in order. One more thing. You must declare your route before we can allow you passage. You can do this by using the map and selecting a route. Wow, it's a universal thing to all the people here. Just look at your map and on your way. Okay, so this is what I was talking about earlier in the first video. Some routes will have rain. Uh, some will be sunny, like the one that I did. Um, with the rain, there is light rain and then there's dense rain, which is what this is. All filled in with... Uh, it's all filled in, and if it was light rain, the cloud would just be the outline. So for your guys' entertainment, I am going to do Route 2, just to show you that little sound you might have heard there is uh, the denied sound effect because the car isn't turned on and therefore I can't drive through yet. So, let's third time this playthrough, turn the car on again, and continue on our journey. So I cut out a part um, of me driving through the tunnel because really they're kind of the same. But now we're getting into some new stuff here. Um, we're about, I believe we are about to enter a dirt road. So this should be quite entertaining, especially with this scrappy little car. Don't hit the chain link fence. I'm going to be hitting a lot of things. I can, I can foresee it right now. Oh, maybe we're not going on a dirt road this time. What did I tell ya? Car's breaking down. Hmm, I wonder if it's the air filter this time. It was the carburetor first, so... Who knows, maybe my thought process is wrong. Maybe it's the carburetor that goes first, and then the air filter goes. I don't know. I believe I could just push through... But the risk is causing even more damage to the car. Uh, oh, geez, those are mountains. Oh, wait, no, those aren't mountains, those are trees. Oh, geez, the smoke, the smoke is getting darker. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to push through. This car is not exactly the best as far as durability is concerned. I kind of re retract what I said about the car being reliable in the last episode. Going so slow right now. Oh, there's a box. Okay, let's turn the car off. Get the box. Is it another wooden one? Yes, it is. Uh, why not? I'm just gonna take it. There we go. Out of curiosity, I'm just gonna check under the hood. I don't have any repair kit, by the way. It's just the car jack, and some road tires, some fuel, which I don't even think I have any left, but just a little bit, some oil and some water, and that's not going to really help the engine very much. So, let's see what uh, the damage... Ooh. Yeah, that'll do it. Engine durability, 1 of 3. Air filter, 2 out of 3. Carburetor, 1 out of 3. I have a bad feeling about this. Um, I'm going to actually do a bit of a jump cut and see if this car fails, and if that happens, then I might have to start the journey over again, so we'll have to see. Uh, this car is suffering. So bad for having to push this poor little thing through all this. 
And I regret choosing this route that has a bunch of rain, but I have to showcase some of the game's features, so yeah. So we're pushing a little over 60 kilometers, which is not fast. Ooh, there's a bridge. Let's go down it. Yeah, when you climb over the bridge, it causes some damage to the car. So yeah. Oh, this is a fuel station. This is good. This is actually very, very good. I could actually, maybe, possibly, I don't know, get a repair kit. I'll just have to see. Oh yeah, and you can wash your car as well, but I don't really have any sort of grime on it yet. So we're not going to do that. Okay, get to the passenger door again. Don't want to forget my wallet. I think it would be a good idea to turn the windshield wipers off. Okay, so into the store we go. Hey there, you look a little moss. Just pick up whatever you need off the shelves and place it through this window. When you have everything you need, we can pay by getting our wallet. Oh, I thought I'd have to pay using money. I never knew that uh, you could just give people your wallet. Not nothing in the wallet, but just, just your wallet. And then you get what you want. I have no idea what I'm saying. Well, isn't this just my luck? I don't have a repair kit here. Or they don't have a repair You know what I meant. I think that we are on a path to destruction. Because the car is really suffering. And I have nothing to do about it. Oh, and the rear, all the wheels, I think, are starting to feel the burn as well. This one up here is more damaged than the rest, I think. <sighs> uh, I'll be back. Alright, we have just entered a dirt road. And this should make things even more complicating. So it's now the car is breaking down, it's raining. I'm on a dirt road. It's already turning to night. Um, our car's performance is suffering now. I'm only pushing above 60 kilometers, and that's it. I'm not even going to bother to pick up any packages if I see them. I'm just going to hopefully get to where I need to go. And then I can get a crowbar and open the one that I picked up earlier. Okay, oh geez, some, we got some of the treacherous curves up here. Well, I think they might be treacherous. Just have to see. The hairpin! There's a hairpin up ahead, I'm gonna have to slow down. Jeez, where's the e-brake when you need it? I wanna do some sick drifts. Actually, that would probably destroy this car even more. Ugh, don't hit the rocks. It's bumpy through here, but... This broken down little car is really handling it pretty well. It's like a champ. It's a trooper. You can get through it. Heart of a warrior. <laughs> oh, geez, that's thunder. Oh, there's like an alternate route. Okay. Do we want to be risky? I guess so. There's an old abandoned building. Yeah, if I'm correct, there's usually some stuff that's hidden in those, but since I'm dedicated to getting where I need to go, I'm just going to pass by for now. Maybe on another playthrough. Okay, my keyboard is dying again. That's why you see my car all of a sudden slowly plow into the chain link fence. Pretty sure that I already delivered this, but I'm definitely going to need to repair this car when I get, if I get to where I need to go. And, and that's a huge if. Got some more treacherous turns up here, and I'm going to... Hmm. As I said, this is going to be a long drive. Okay, I'm back. The smoke has gotten larger, and uh, at this point, I am pretty sure that one of the components is at zero durability now, so that's good. 
We are now pushing below 40 kilometers an hour, and I maybe there's a glimmer of hope ahead. I'm assuming that that is our town, because you can notice, you can make out the silhouette of a bridge in the background up there. But we're not going to break any speed records getting there, that's for sure. You know what, I'm just going to go up and over this hump because this car is pretty much damaged as it is. This, uh, this trip is wreaking havoc on this thing. I feel sorry for abusing it the way I did. This is n this would not be very safe to go and do in real life. Just drive a broken down car like 300 kilometers, hoping that you push through. It's not exactly my ideal uh, fun road trip. Got a car. I am. Definitely, no matter what, I'm buying a repair kit. Open the door, dang it, you dingots. Okay. As I said, it's a junk door. Holy crap, I have found my heaven. There are three repair kits. And this lady's still talking to me. How much are they per kit? Okay, I have 80... Currency. I don't know if it's dollars or euros or whatnot. So to buy it, it is 15. Sell is 5. I think I might buy 2. Just to be safe. Also, crowbar! I can't pick it up because my hands are loaded. Well, I was not kidding when I said I was about to wreak havoc on this car's engine. We have zero durability, z one durability, and zero durability. And we're almost out of fuel. <sighs> so I did not repair it fully, but it will have to do for now because I have no money for another repair kit. And that crowbar is calling my name, so, yeah. Alright, so I got the crowbar, and now I have just the right amount of money to go to a hotel room. But, um, this wooden box is going to have to be open, so moment of truth. Let's see if this pickup was worth it. Just gotta highlight the padlock right here, hold the click button. Ooh, we got enough booze in here to get everyone drunk. Oh yeah, I have my wallet with me. I was wondering, why can't I pick up another one? How much that's... Ooh, wow, that's actually quite a bit. Okay, get the other one. It's going to be a popular place, I guarantee you. People are going to be lining up for miles to buy this uh, bubbly or whatever it is. Alright, 20 bucks. More like 99. Make mine a 99. Floating padlock. Alright, so I filled my car back up with the money that I have just earned. And luckily I have a surplus of money still left. So, that, that's awesome. I still gotta pay up, says the, uh, uh, the garage is closed. The garage? The fence is closed, so I can't move on. Also, I had to use up all the rest of my oil in order to lube up the engine, so that's trash. Close the hood. Now I gotta do, get my wallet, open this door, pay for the gas, and I am solid. Alright, so we are on the road again to go onto a very lengthy trip across the block to sleep at the motel again. I got a penalty for running a red light. Excuse me, I am a bad person. I have committed a felony. Once again, with the sports car parking jobs. Turn off the car. Get the wallet. Get 
that out, and we're gonna get some shut eye. Like a glove. Alright, so we got our room. It's 1B, so it's just down the hall. It's a pretty long haul. <laughs> long haul. As if I haven't been doing that already. I'm sorry, I. I'm in a good mood today. So, I don't need this wallet. Make your own joke about that number. And now it is time we got some shut eye. Put the key in the thing. Alright, close the door. And our bed is. But well, my bed is mine, I guess. I don't know. Ugh, it's been a long journey. I had to drive with that car spitting and sputtering and splashing oil in my face. I'm tired of it. It's like I'm it's like I have car fever. It's like cabin fever, but you're in a car. Well, that looks like my bed in the morning. Just all rustled up and unmade. Uh, but yeah, I think that I will conclude this episode of Jalopy right here. Um, I don't know if I should continue playing this until... Uh, thanks for staying! Safe journey now! Uh, I don't know if I should keep playing this, because as I said, it's not finished. But I don't know when this game will be finished, so... Uh, I don't know, maybe you guys can determine if you like th seeing me play this game at all or not, or if it's the worst thing you've ever seen. But anyways, feel free to leave a like, comment, maybe a subscription. That would really help me out. See you later.